Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. Y'all know me. You know what the fuck it is. Like, we not even gonna pretend. We're gonna take off the headphones. We taking off the headphones. And you know, Paradigm never stream without the headphones. First of all, I did my waves for y'all. I did my waves for y'all. I did my waves for y'all. Alexa. Alexa. Turn Studio Light 1 to 100. Okay. We wavy, we wavy, yes, sir. We wavy, yes, sir. We wavy, yes, sir. That's a beat. I'm talking about Roe v. Wade today. Now, you saw the title of the video if you were on YouTube. But for live viewers, they were like, where were you going with this one? What, what's the connection? Y'all know me. I never leave you out in the dark. I don't want to talk about it. And you know why I don't want to talk about it? Because I'm going to spend a really long time talking about it today. Is because there are so many other people who have more reach, more pull, more drive in their lives to be able to give you a more concise and more greater understanding of the damage that this will do than I could ever. That's just my limited scope as a human being. It just hurts me. It just hurts me and it hurts me to a degree. Thank you for the raid. Oh, you came in right when we started doing a serious segment. <laughs> Right when, right, right when we was getting to the nitty gritty. Oh, man. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the energy that you're seeing here today, please do me a favor. Hit that follow. I'm sorry that I have to do this in the middle of a uh, YouTube segment. It's okay. I mean, you guys understand it's a live environment. Like, it, it doesn't take away from the severity of the conversation for me to entertain an audience. Um, I, I, I wish that this conversation was not happening. That's where it it ends at the end of the game. Like that's where it, that's where it, 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 it burns me because there is no, for me, there is, there is, this is a situation that I could just swear is black and white. Like we as a society believe in things and carry traditions. And somehow this is just forced its way in. It's game over, kiddo. You don't know what's going to happen. It's over. Like, I, I can't solve this for you. Because all I want is for it to be solved. Hey, give women their right back. Give women their right back. Like, they, what other take would there be here? How much nuance can you pull into this conversation? And I see y'all doing it still. Like having these hour-long debates where you know the answer is, should women have the choice or shouldn't they? And we stick ourselves in this, in this, in this, this reflex of, 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 of everything has to be debatable because we all have the right to a decision. And I said this before, and I know Eos talked about it. And if you don't know who Eos is, then you're, you're not here, I guess. Um, humans just choose to not be binary about the right things. We say the pharmaceutical company is bad. The pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical, we say big pharma, but like we know that there's been life-saving care. We just want that to be the motive instead of a profit. Like, you know that profit drives like misery into things. You can't create because, do you see what I'm talking about? Why have a nuanced full all the way down 20 minute, 30 minute piece about like why Roe v. Wade being taken away is bad and think like. There are aid centers being set up. There are people reaching out. I know. I know people's is, is, is I, I know people's is I know people's is broke. Look at me. I'm asking for Twitch subs like I know people's is broke like I'm broke. But if you got like five dollars, yo, it really do. They really do, like, have connections to get shit on the low. And $5 go a lot longer than you think. It's not like them going to a grocery mart and picking up, you know, one quart of super organic milk. You know, it's it's real shit. Um, look for those. Stop having the discussion. This is the second time I'm going to say it. 
because I've said it before about a certain topic, and quite literally the next day there was a panel on it. Even though I specifically asked them not to do that. Um, I want to talk to you about the effects. I want to talk to you about moving forward. Because at this point, it happened. At this point, we're all aware it happened. Like, I can't, I can't promise you that, like, you as an individual got this power. Because you already see the Democrats doing the dumb thing. See, I'm going I'm to start flipping. I'm going to start flipping because it's like, y'all know I got to talk about everything we done seen. Like, are you serious? Like, are you, <laughs> Joe Biden, your vote, your vote will allow us to do what we need. Bro, just one more vote, please, bro. Please, bro, just one more vote. Please, bro, bro, please, one more vote. I swear, bro, just one more election, bro, and we could do all the change we said we, bro, bro, yo, bro, bro, yo, bro, but bro, bro, I swear, please, bro, one vote, bro, please, just one more vote, bro. It's the most important election of our lives, bro. Again, it's always, yo, it's like, you know what it is? It's dead ass. John Cena versus The Rock once in a lifetime, and then all of a sudden there was a second match. Shawn Michaels retired. I'll never come back. Comes back for that Saudi money. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. You want to get dark? We're talking about effects, right? Y'all know my brain run all the way left and right. For my women, for my women, for my for my birthing people, because you know I'm 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 I understand that. Like we we not one of them's we not one of them's over here like everybody included trans men yes we know the we know the we know the said like we not on that time over here don't even ask for the language you know everybody in that um if if you can't get abortions so you have to carry a a, a baby to term but i can't Find it like I I wanted the abortion because I couldn't handle having a baby. What you think gonna happen to the baby? S- mothers die during pregnancy. Are you okay? Giving birth, like it's a traumatic experience. Do you think it just go plop and it's over? Bro, shit happens. Shit happens, like, yo, like, not even try. Like, I obviously could never understand the the feeling of pregnancy, even with the the electro thing or whatever. Like, we know, like, I'm I don't I'm not a womb carrier. There we go. Like, I don't got no womb. But like, I'm pretty sure it's a lot painful and a lot longer than dealing with a gunshot. Postpartum depression, like. It's, there's too many avenues. There's too many avenues. Like everything that you could think of that go like like mothers like mothers kill their children. Mothers kill themselves. Like, are you sure? And then no gun act. You want free gun access? You want free gun? Yo, just let the poor people. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted to segue into. Let the poor people. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. Away, yo, mic check, 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 yo, yo. It's the wire. I don't understand. I have to go back there. I have to change the wire. I I don't have that many long USBs, and it's all like my wires are threaded a specific way. So changing one wire is kind of annoying. Um, I wanted the. Thought somebody was saying something to me. Um, sorry, uh, that, this, I hate when shit like that happens. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. Okay, okay, follow me here. 
Follow me here on the thread. Follow me here on the thread. Follow me here on the thread. Peep the scenario. And this is why I said I want to talk to you about moving forward. Peep the scenario. Peep the scenario. Conspiracies are not cool. But peep the scenario. Let us say that that was a miss, a misspeak, right? For whatever it could have been. Let's benefit of the doubt. Two sides this. Then why? Why on earth? Would the crowd clap for that? Oh, well, she must have misspoke. I, I, yeah, white life. Like, wow, yeah, white life. Hey, stupid people. I, I, uh, you know what? Here's your clip of the day. Here's your clip. Here's your clip. Here's your drama clip since we want to throw our belts in with the drama crowd. It's funny how a permeation of the great replacement theory somehow ended up being a platform sitting next to the guy who we considered a fascist. But you couldn't find a consensual link between local underground people and some popular figureheads and like, I don't know, the levers and mechanisms of government that create the rules that make people... I don't know, like anti what everything but white people. And when sometimes they say the quiet part out loud, like it just gets so blaringly obvious that you couldn't make any mistakes for it. So are you ready to move as though this is existing? Or are you still trying to be like, hey, everybody's got an honest heart and honest truth. And I'm trying to show myself so they can humanize me. Bro. Oh, my God. It's like, you really got to go to Germany. You got to go to Germany. You got to go to Germany. You got to go to Germany. And that, that, that'll tell you, like, how they dealt with the history of that. Like, wow, yo. Wow, yo. Yep. Let's take it, let's take it, let's take it further. Let's take it further. Take it a step further. To address, I want to address the unfathomable and disgusting remarks that the newest member of the Illinois congressional delegation made. That the newest member of the oh, Illinois. No, it froze. It froze. Okay. Let me be clear. Hitler got nothing right. This reprehensible rhetoric has no place in our politics. Illinois Republicans cannot allow this to stand and must condemn this vile, evil streak in their... Condemn it. Condemn it. Condemn it. Not stop doing the things. You just must publicly condemn it. Party. If Representative Miller was the le least bit interested in history, she would visit the Illinois Holocaust Museum and Education Center to learn just how wrong Hitler really was. Oh, she would take a trip to the Holocaust Museum to shut the fuck up. Politicians are pussies. Politicians are pussies. Pregnancy is a literal medical condition. Thank you. Talk about a capitalistic health system run amok. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, yo, cra like, crazy to me. Crazy to me. Like, and that's why I don't want to talk about Roe v. Wade, because it's like, that's step one. Like, you know, this one person was talking about, you know, it's step one in the process. No, this is step one in the process. The fact that there are levers in our system that are allowed to pull, to activate these things are a problem. Are you hearing me? Are you getting this? Is this the Hassan take for you? Is this the, do you, do you, do you need somebody to like, like meticulously spread it out for you? 
it always backfires because they want it to. The same way you can have support from people who are literally up your ass is the same way these people have support and money that they donate to them and say, hey, when it comes time for Roe v. Wade, you know what the fuck to do. Oh, that doesn't happen. Okay there, champ. Okay there, champ. But yeah, no, keep letting your numbers spike and realize what the spike actually is. Keep wondering why it's happening to just minorities, you know? Keep wondering. Keep wondering why it seems like more minorities are getting a little boost before it ends up being about drama. Keep wondering. This is the painful part. This is the painful part. Where I gotta like... Where I gotta like make it about everything because women just lost something, and there's a there's a side to hey, it could be worse. It kicks it back to the states. Why don't we just kick slavery back to the states too? You see where I'm going with this? Oh, but that's a dra- that's a dramatization. They wouldn't do that. Uh, they wouldn't take away Roe v. Wade. They took away Roe v. Wade. They took away Roe v. Wade. They took away Roe v. Wade. Trying to take away Miranda rights. Trying to create bigger gun laws. Democrats are spending money on ads to boost the profile of these seen as extremist candidates to secure the Republican Party's nomination. But the strategy has raised concerns about effectiveness and whether or not it could have unintended consequences. so um we platforming the terrible people and showing them to the world and being like hey these guys are bad so the people who like them say hey look even your democrat buddies are talking about them they're clearly this far left and they want to um, stop the radicalization of the far right because you know it's a bad thing that white people are sitting up at the top of the mountain and the far left always wants to just take your taxes and your government and you see where i'm going with this Okay. Okay. So you're okay. Okay, Chatter. So we're gonna we're gonna do this again here. Um, Roe v. Wade isn't a right; it's a ruling. Yes, I know you're being literal. Okay, so let's take the literal route here because it's it's really scary to have this conversation. Um, to what length do you believe that a society that wishes to populate another planet? would not be able to simply say, I think that we should have a process in which a woman can decide not to bring life into this world. The abolishment of slavery outside of prison was an amendment. It was a ruling using the 14th Amendment. Okay, we we get it. But, like, society views it as a right now because it's a thing. It's a thread inside the rights granted to women. Why should they just be... Like, if you could do this, what makes you think you couldn't do something else? You see the right likes to talk about the sliding scale of the left all the time and how if like we slide into communism, there will be bread lines, but it's like the sliding scale of the right is like progressing. If it is a right, then made an amendment and it will become a right. You're right. We should put an amendment on that. You're right. You're right. There's a step. There's a step that'll never happen, but like, there's a step. How does anyone not see the line of progress here? They stopped on abortion. They'll come after the contraception and gay queer people, racial minorities, pure white people, and all of us are just, yeah, yeah. MSN? Oh, we got an MSN here? Oh, we pressed an MSN article? Wade is fueled by a number of things, like you just spelled out, including a fear of the black and browning of America. And then listen to what an Illinois representative said just last okay, night at suck. a Trump rally spelling out why she believes overturning Roe v. Wade is a victory. Listen. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. So that comment has 
gotten a lot of traction and criticism on social media. Her spokesperson told uh, various news outlets that Miller meant to say right to life, not what. Hey, yo, hey, yo, you see, this is why I don't like it. This is why this is why this is why I don't like it. That way it can be voted on. If this is the true, if it's true, the majority believe in abortion and it will pass with flying covers. Bro, it's already the majority opinion and they just got to, like, you see what I mean? Like, the minority, there is a, uh, yo, society's doomed, bro. If we don't get rid of this duopoly system and just start sharing shit, like, it's clipped, bro. We ain't never going to have another generation of artists. Fuck the renaissance. We're going to the dark ages. Fight. Life. Dark Age is a tw- with I mean, Twitter. slip of the tongue or not. Um, explain why you say this is a real catalyst against abortion rights. I mean, this is something I've been saying for many years. Um, the nationalist movement is a movement that comes and goes in this country. And we have statutes from the 1800s, the early 1900s, again and again. When the white population begins to dip, the fear is they will not be in majority and therefore not be in power. By the year 2045, the U.S. Census has said this, that this country is going to be majority people of color. That is something that has fueled a lot of what um, drove um, white voters to the polls. They might not say it outright, and she was clear in what she was saying. When you saw these um, white domestic um, terrorists you know, marching through the campus and in Charlottesville and other places, this replacement theory that they have. What are you talking about? Replacing white people, especially white men, with people of color or Jews. This is what this is about at its core. The idea that the white population is dipping. They're not having as many babies. And I'm going to say something else, Frederica. And I've mm-hmm. and I said before, was what I said before. They don't care about the fact that this would mean brown and black babies will Oh my God, UN migration replacement plan is real. (laughs) Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Can't have one conversation on abortion. Now we're talking about, hey, hey, fuckheads. Hey, fuckheads. Hey, fuck. And yo, that's crazy because I wanted to bring up immigration too. That's crazy. That's so wild because like we have such an anti immigrant. Yo, we literally have a satire character called fucking Homelander, which people thought was fucking real. Holy shit, Brody. Holy shit, Brody. Come on, man. You got to do better than that. That's what I'm saying, yo. People don't treat me right on Twitch. My game review, yo, shout out Senpai Selection. Shout out MEGG. Shout out, like, yo, shout out Josie. Like, yo, shout out, um, B. No, 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 no. Um, Tank. Shout out Frankie Beats. Like, yo, shout out, yo, 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 yo. Like, real shit. Real shit, you could do better. You could do better. Yeah, you could do better. You could really do better. Like, you could really do, you could really do so much better. You could really, yo, thank you, Ali, for the raid. I appreciate it. I'm coming back to that. Yo, like, you could really do better. You could, you could do, you could do better. Anyway, yeah, like, we have <laughs> Homelander! <laughs> like, yo, Captain America, bro. Bro, Captain America fought the Nazis, and everybody was like, oh, but that was a special thing. Are you all right, son? Are you winning the game? It's just a joke, bro. It's only such a joke until it gets into the government. And it's legitimate political. Yo, I'm really arguing with a bunch of white nationalists. That's crazy. That's crazy. The discourse has become so tainted because we can't figure out that like these people were the same way the army, the same way the fucking army was recruiting with Call of Duty and a dude was just talking about the gun culture. And it's crazy. We're still here. We're still here. We're still here. Shout out Ministry of Science. Like be born because we have under education of brown and black. If y'all not clipping all these moments, then I don't know what we doing here. Like I'm gonna need them. We farming today. Children. We have underemployment of brown and black adults. We have the prison system, and we have the lack of health care. All of those things then continue to undermine the population growth of those brown and black babies into adulthood and therefore giving rise to more of these um, white adults who will stay in power, even if it's an apartheid system in which they're the minority, but then have the power of the majority. Bars. 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 
Bars. Bars. Bars. Let's keep going. Let's keep talking about it. Let's keep talking about it. Let's talk about it. Like, crazy to me. Crazy to me. Crazy to me that y'all can't see that. Like, and you know what's crazy about it? You know what? You know what's really crazy? You know what's really, you know what's really, yo, yo. All my all my womb carriers gonna love this one. Y'all going, y'all gonna be like, yo, paradigm is such an ally. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy because like you're seen as so, and this encompasses er, like every person that can deliver a baby every person that can have a baby grow a baby this is crazy watch this you're still seen as second class citizens is why there and that's why there's a debate on either side of this issue Yo, it's like the glaring, like, if they don't care about women this much that they're willing to debate it, how about we just go after, like, actual races? <laughs> Yo, if we could just knock out a gender, how about we knock out an ethnicity? Like, we could just go for the ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> I fucking doomer. This is why I didn't want to stream about this the last time. Because it's like, I don't understand how nobody, like, caught on to, like, the rolling effect of this. We're all sitting there saying, like, I appreciate, and that's why I said at the beginning of this, like, I appreciate that there are places that are, are, are doing the right thing. That type of mobilization is exactly what I mean. We should have a lever to respond with this. Like, we, we should have a lever on Moss with this. Like, that, that, should, that should click on. Like, but think about it. What type of lever is that in response to? What type of lever is that in response to? Is it so good that this lever can be clicked because, up, oh, somebody lost their rights. Time to flick the switch. Let's figure out a way around it. Let's change the system up even some more. I'm sure that won't get lost in the papers. I'm sure people won't get raided. I'm sure none of that shit's going to happen. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be awesome. 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 Oh, shit. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, the, just the pay-per-view wasn't recording. That's all it was. Um, but it ended anyway. I don't think I missed too much of it. Um, and I just froze. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. It's literally nothing like it's a problem. <laughs> I just, I was like, I was like, I, once I heard it, I was like, oh no, gotta get it. Okay. Anyway, um, back to the conversation we were having. Um, yeah. Ah. Breathe. Sorry. Gotta breathe. I just, I got nervous. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck, fuck is wrong, wrong with you? you? Thank you for the follow, Sex Samurai. We appreciate you. Also, I gotta give 
Uh, shout out to Roddy Ranch with the follow. <laughs> Thank you for the host, Ali. Just trying to bring my mind down a little bit. Yes, we're still doing the YouTube segment. People are still checking it out. You're still rocking with me. Because if you're not, you should be here. I, you know what? You know what? I recorded it. I recorded. I recorded it. I recorded it. <laughs> I recorded it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I I saw a couple of the things. Um We got our uh man in there. Anyway. Um Roe v. Wade <laughs> It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. This this debate, like, it already gives rise to everything. Every little segment of life. Now everybody's on the chopping block. You live in this country, you play by whose rules? What's the question? What am I being asked? What am I being asked right now? And is it worth the time and attention that you are willing to give me? And what is the question being asked? Should women have the right to stop the car? But we didn't stop the car. It just kept going. We put the, and we turned it. Mm. Now the engine is running. What makes you think these people won't put their foot on the gas? Why do I have to ask these questions? What solution do you want me to provide to you? Why would you want a solution? Why don't we have, how about we start working on not having the problem? But here we go, another think piece, another tank on how you can this and how you can get around this and let's make it so people's lives have to be even harder. But yeah, we're going to all succeed. We've all got the same chances as everyone else in America. That's cute. That's, that's, that's adorable. That's adorable to me. That's, you know what? Come here. Come here, you deserve you deserve everything you're going to get. Beautiful. Wonderful. I love it. I give me, give me more. What's next? Why should there even be a next? Can we go before what's next? Can we get to what if? Because remember, what if was something that, and okay, so let's play the detractor game real quick since we're at the end of this segment. It just kicks it back to state's rights. <laughs> But the majority of the people want it. So what if the electors, what if the people, what if the people we elected never brought it up as an issue because it was a part of an understanding that we had with the you know, entire country? And then like once it was on the chopping block, they were like, yo, we actually don't want that. And now it's too late because you already elected. Are you serious? Is this how easy the game is to be played? Do you not care about women that much? Is that what this is? Is that what this is? Is that what this is? Because you know black mothers have three to four times more mortality rates than other women in our American medical system. You know this. You know this. You know this. Come on. Come on. Man, you know about Casey Anthony, and you said, Why did that happen? What make you think these women gonna keep the baby? I have the baby, I pay the fee, I go home, I throw baby in trash. You think that won't happen? Newsflash, it already did. Oh, we're not talking about a fictional dystopia, we're in a fictional dystopia. 
It can't. It's a reality. This. Oh, oh. But let's host a panel because I want to humanize myself. I'm out of here. Paradigm shift on deck. Next queen, Next king of Twitch. Don't touch me. Get off me. Get off me.